time for a quick pop pickup unboxing video picked up for me from Scarlet over at Albatross Pops. Let's get on with the unboxing. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heaven, here with another unboxing. Give me a quick one, it's just one little pop. I was in a group chat, lots of people, and we're all Funko collectors, and all small YouTubers, and one of them was in Asda, I said, oh look what I've got, anyone interested in this pop? Let's see what's here, and I was like, I saw the pictures, I was like, nah, nothing there for me. I said that, and then I looked again, I thought, hang on, because they're Star Wars pops, and I know a lot of Star Wars pops end up in B&M for cheap, so I don't rush out and buy them. But then I noticed this pop is one that's been going for crazy prices. <laughs> and I was like, oh wait, get that pop. Message back, I was like, wait, wait, I want that pop, I want that pop. Silence, I was like, please, answer, where are you? Ah, it was going on for ages, so I was, I was like, messaging, other people were messaging, saying, oh, Glenn wants that pop, Glenn wants that pop. Finally, Scarlett got the messages, and she's like, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> she rushed round, bless her. She rushed round the Asda to get back to it and found it. Let me just show you this pop. It's Star Wars, as I mentioned. Here we go. It's in a pop culture box, really thick box, and it's in bubble wrap. It's really protector as well. Wow. Cheers, Scar. So, that's a really, really thick box. Really good for saying pops that is. Put in bubble wrap and in the pop protector as well, which I'll take out so you don't see the glare. Double box toys pop protector. Oh yes, so this is Cara Dune oh, from the Mandalorian. Take it out of the protector. Absolutely amazing. As the prices, I can't remember what they are now. £11 for a pop, £10 for a pop, £12, what, about £10 to £12 for a pop. Uh, this is Marshall Cara Dune. These, the prices of these pops now are just going crazy. Because Disney got rid of Cara Dune, I'm not going to go into that whole spiel. If you want to find out the drama, go and look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of YouTubers who just deal with drama. Not really interested in it. I just want the pop because <laughs> there's enough one I keep. I keep seeing these, but I'm not in a rush to pick them up because I know I will pick them up at some point. Like for example, well, let me show you the side art on the rear. So for example, the Mithril. I've seen him a few times. And I'm like, mm, I really like that pop. But I'm not, not willing to spend. <laughs> not willing to spend the ten pound, ten, eleven, twelve pound, whatever it is in Asda. I'll wait till it gets to B&M, because I'm sure at some point it will do. I've picked up some pretty amazing Star Wars pops from B&M, uh, reduced price, and I, um, some pretty good ones, there's some sticker ones and everything in there that I've picked up. Uh, I did really want this. I've got the Gamorrean Fighter. And I don't have, right, I have the Gamorrean Fighter. I don't have, I don't have this child. It's still called the child here, isn't it? Yeah, it's not Grogu, yeah. And I don't have the Mandalorian with child, this pop, but I do have the 10 inch Mandalorian with child. I really like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I do want to get the Mithril, and I, I will pick up. There's too many of the child pops now. I think they all look amazing, but because there's so many of them, I was like, I'm never going to get all of them. I'll probably wait until I find one I really like. For now, I'm happy with the 10 inch. I'm waffling on. I said I'd make this short video. Let me show you the top. Boring blurb at the bottom. I will get this out for a quick look. Here it is, out of box, and I am so glad I got this out of box because there's some details on this that you wouldn't have noticed, like her hair, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. You've got a lot of detail on the body itself. Uh, it is bobbly head, being Star Wars and licensing. That hair is absolutely amazing. And the detail on this pop, I really like this. So. As far as I'm aware, there's three different pops versions of hers. There's the one where she's got the big, uh, big like mach machine gun. It's not a machine gun, but the big space machine gun, we'll call it. And there's this one, and there's another one where she where she got the pistol like this and a knife in her other hand. I like this version as the Marshall. I think it's probably my favourite version. But the price has just gone so crazy for this though they have. So I think this one is going for if on TPD the pop directory. 
this is valued at like 40 something pound go to the other goes to the other app the funko app and it's like 60 pound it's, it's just quite insane prices for pops nowadays just go crazy obviously because of the drama they got rid of her so they're i'm assuming they're going to vault that line they're going to stop that line i don't know at the moment it's still listed as available so they might still carry on making them and people have been buying them for ridiculous money are going to think like why did i do that <laughs> um I personally am happy to have it in my collection because I, I collect all, all the Star Wars Pops. <laughs> I've got far too many Star Wars Pops. Uh, more so than any other Pop uh, in my Star Wars range. But, just a short video. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Uh, it's how amazing is Scarlet. So, there's a lot of flippers out there. And if they, were, they probably would have saw this in Asda, they probably would have picked it up and sold it for like £40, £50. Made a load of money. Scarlet, I bought it off her for the price she bought it for and then paid shipping uh, that to me is how friends and how collectors should be we should all help each other out to get the pops we want but I'm not going to go to rant about that <laughs> I'm going to end it here I'm the Geeky Heathen as always much love and until next time stay awesome